Hi, hello and welcome. So recently I had a scenario wherein I had to put three different bar charts into a single visual. So we had something like this before wherein I had orders shown by a region which is the category and similar with the sales and the profit shown by region as well. So it was three different charts. So something which I tried to put up together was to add a clustered uh, column chart and put all the three measures together. The problem over here was that since the values of orders were very much lesser than that of total line sales and the profit, it was not visible. So we uh, did a workaround with visual level calculations. We don't have to do anything on the SVGs and uh, we tried to achieve something like this. So it was easy to do this with visual level calculations. Let's see how to do it. Hi, my name is Vinayak Panchaman and welcome to Data Delimited. So let's see the model first. So if you go back, I have a sales orders table connected with a regions table with the with a one to many relationship. I have a date table connected to the sales order fact table with a one to many relationship as well. And I have a few measures calculated over here already. So let me go back to the visual uh, report view. You can do this with your uh, any of your BI reports. If you have a measure, you can easily try this out. So uh, I'm here, I'm going to go and select a stack bar chart. And in my Y axis, I'm going to give a categorical variable, which is my region from my regions table and add all my measures that I need to the X axis. The first one is total orders. The second one is total line sales. The third one is line profit. So this is going to look something like this. The next thing what we have to do is we have to move this, all those X axis measures to the tooltips. Even though we move the measures to the tooltips, it would be available for us in the visual level calculations. So the next step is to click on this uh, visual and go to the new calculations. That's going to open up the visual level calculations pane for us. So what we're going to do is we are going to give the first measure. We need the orders as the first bar, right? So I'll, I'll just go ahead over here and type in orders is equal to, it's the same measure. I'm just selecting the total orders from what we already have. So if we enter, it shows the same value as total orders. That's it. Okay. So now we need the next bar to start at the same point. We need to calculate the maximum orders, which means, so we have this maximum orders uh, over here, right in the uh, south. So our next bar chart should start only after the maximum order value. So if it starts over here somewhere, in the beginning, like Northeast has lesser orders, it would be awkward and it would be cluttered to look at. So let's go ahead and calculate the next measure, which is to calculate the maximum order value. Max orders is equal to, I'll use a max x function. It's going to go through the rows of my max orders and get me the total orders. So what it has done over here is it has gone through this complete order rows and fetched out the maximum value, which is 3790 and filled it up in the whole column. Now it looks something like this. So what we are going to do is we are going to hide this max orders. Okay. So the next step is that we have to calculate the, uh, we have to give a space between the first bar and the second bar. We'll go ahead and create a next calculation, which is the space between the first, the orders and the total line sales. To do that, I'm just giving space, order, and sales, right? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to check the max order value, multiply it with, I'll explain in the tax right now, total orders. So what is it doing over here is that uh, it's going to calculate the max, which is a 3790 from this particular thing. And it's going to multiply it with 1.05, which is 5% of the bar. And it's going to minus it with the total order so that we give, we get the space. Okay. So next thing, what we have to do is I'll go to the space order value and click on the bars and select the space orders. 
and I increase the transparency to 100%, which means we will not see that particular space at all. So the next thing to calculate is the total line sales. But the problem here is since the magnitude or the value of order is very much lesser than the total line sales, we have to make it proportionate, right? So let me write a calculation for that, then I'll explain you the calculation. Sales, I'm going to total line sales divided by the max x rows total line sales multiplied by max orders. That's it. So what it does is over here, if you look at the numbers over here. So first thing is uh, the max x rows total line sales over here will calculate the maximum total line sales across all the regions. Okay. Then we have a division operator over here. So the max orders over here scales and normalizes the total line sales value up to be proportional to the maximum order value. That's what it does. Okay, now it works something like this. So if you look at the Midwest, the total line sales is 4695569. And the maximum total line sales for that particular column is 5061335, which is of South, right? So it's going to divide the total line sales of Midwest with the maximum total line sales, which is of the South region. And it will multiply it with 3790, which is the maximum orders. That's when we get this. 3516 as a total as a value for this particular row. So which will proportionate the value to the orders bar as well. So the next step is to calculate the space between say uh, total line sales and the profit. So the same way I'm gonna go through the maximum orders. open a parenthesis over here multiplied by 1.05 minus the sales what we have calculated so that's going to give a space over here again we'll go to this one and make the transparency to zero sorry 100 percent so that we don't see that one and next is we go ahead and create the next calculation to calculate the profit value in the same way we calculated the sales. Profit. Line profit divided by max x rows. So it will run through the rows and I'll give a comma over here and again line profit. Close the parenthesis multiplied by max orders. That's it. So it gave us all this uh, bars over here. Now let's go and tidy it up a bit. I click on this and let me change the title first. I'm switching off the uh, legends over here. And what I'm going to do over here is I'll go to the bar and click on the orders and change the color first and go to the data labels, switch it on and click on orders and give it as auto and I'll also check the series labels as well as orders. So, okay. So I'll do the same thing with uh, the sales change the color and go to the sales data label and keep it as auto and go to the title switch it on and the series name as sales i'll do the sales uh, same thing with a profit as well i'll switch on the title and the series name and i'll go ahead and change the color for the profit
that's it and the important thing is to switch off the grids because the grid line is something which is over here and which doesn't make sense because uh, since we have changed the proportion of the bar so it doesn't make sense over here so switch it off and I also go ahead and switch off the values and the title in the x-axis and keep it as is and if you need you can also switch off the title in the y-axis as well so that's it simple as it is we can easily achieve this with the visual level calculations however be cautious when you do such kind of visualizations most of the times uh, the product metrics and the financial metrics doesn't provide a meaningful insight in our case it was a special requirement from the users so we had to do this in that note please do subscribe to the video if you learned something and see you in the next one